had our own severe weather here in Maryland. Fortunately, it wasn't nearly as bad as that. My yeah. goodness. Yeah, no, definitely not like that. But we did see some very strong winds, heavy rain, and even got some reports of hail here in Maryland. I will say we could see a couple showers and thunderstorms again tomorrow. Not to the severe extent that we saw today, but they are still there. And we'll get to that in just a moment. Temperatures eventually are going to slide back into the mid 70s. So if you've been tired of the 80s and the heat, well, summer's around the corner, but enjoy this nice little break while you can. This weekend looks absolutely fantastic. Sunny skies and warmer air. Not what we saw earlier today. Here's a time lapse from 8 o'clock. You can see that strong line of showers and thunderstorms moving from the 90 to 5 quarter all the way across the eastern shore where we're still looking at a few showers, at least for right now, just to the east of Easton, starting to move into Delaware. But this is all the areas, at least for right now, that we have storm reports. I mean, there were two right just to the north of us here in Towson. One was a house was struck by lightning. We did have some trees down on a 695 right near 83 and multiple gusts of wind and trees down also out in Montgomery County. As we continue to get into the rest of the evening, we see damage reports and cleanup. We'll get more information, but temperatures are well cooler because of all of the rain that we saw. 65 in Inner Harbor, 64 in Columbia, 70 in Annapolis, 68 in Stevensville. I know you guys are in your beds thinking uh, I'm not going outside anytime soon. Well, this is likely what you wake up to tomorrow, so just keep that in your brain. It's going to be a bit mild, but definitely a bit more on the muggy side to start the day, but we will see those showers continue to move well off the coast. So finally out of our area, it's likely just a little bit of some moisture in play for tomorrow. Tomorrow. You'll see future temperatures and radar by about midday, upper 70s, low 80s. You could see a couple showers well to our south. Uh, if anything, it could be a stray sprinkle, maybe a rumble of thunder, but fairly quiet out there. A bit cooler on Wednesday as your cold front moves through our next one, upper 50s, low 60s to start off the day. Again, a better shot for showers and thunderstorms into the afternoon and evening, just like clockwork right about rush hours when they start to come on in. But we finally will see them clean out later on. And I do think that as we get into the weekend, we finally see some big changes, just some lingering rain chances Tuesday into Wednesday for a nice dry weekend and temperatures also will go back to about where they should be for this time of year, which is the upper 70s, though we say a bit mild for your Thursday and Friday, and you can see that on the seven day forecast, a much more mild feel to kick off the weekend. We are getting into June, ladies and gentlemen, and we are feeling just like 80 degrees.